What's up everybody, welcome back to another Ride and Dad channel or welcome if it's your first time, either way, very glad to have you. Wanted to film this very brief kind of introduction to the video. Uh, most of you guys are probably expecting this week, this day, to, today, uh, to watch a video on this Memphis Shades fairing and whether or not it works good for me, like my initial review kind of of it and if I am experienced buffeting or anything like that. Um, I will be very honest with you guys, I am experienced buffeting. Uh, not as bad as I did with the FXRT fairing that I had in the past, but enough that right now I don't want it on the bike, kind of. Um, so I'm gonna take the next week or two, unfortunately I didn't have that much time to do kind of trial and error yes, or last week with it uh, for video stuff. So I'm gonna do some more trial and error. Um, I ordered two different size windshields to see if that's gonna help. One is here, uh, one should be getting here later today. So I want to, I don't wanna film a video just to say this doesn't work for me currently and stay tuned for the next one. I wanna film a video saying, hey, this didn't work initially, this is what I have now, this is my height, this is why it works out. Um, so I feel like the video, just saying that it doesn't work would be a complete waste of time for everybody involved. Um, so instead, what I did was go ahead and take the bike out real quick uh, to a park and take a video of it and show you guys exactly everything I have done on this bike. Um, so th there's a lot, and I, I may have missed something that I just can't think of or whatever, but uh, yeah, there, there's a lot done to this bike. So uh, enjoy. Let's roll the intro and we'll get right into it. <laughs> We're doing the, well, the end of 22, beginning of 23. I should have done one a few months ago, but life just got the whole, just the better of me. God darn, that sun is bright today. Anyway, we are doing the final, final wrap up slash walk around, whatever you want to call it. What everything I have, what's everything I have done to this 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start, or try to start from the front and work our way back. Hopefully I don't forget anything, we'll see. First off, everything you see that's powder coated is Playboy Blue from Prismatic Colors. Stock wheels, front and back. Up front, we got the Galfer Cubic Rotors matched with Galfer Ceramic Brake Pads, stock brake calipers. Got the uh, ARP hardware around these rotors as well. Internal fork suspension. Gonna be rocking the Legend Axio uh, fork cartridge inserts. Also lowered the forks in the trees, utilizing the Harry Customs um, shims to allow you to do that. Speaking of Harry Customs, also rocking the custom oil cooler screen from him. Awesome guy, great products. Bung King, crash bar, high crash bar. Green Brothers Designs, sh or uh, not shift linkage, I do have that, but right now we're talking about the brake, adjustable brake linkage, uh, stock mid controls, Flow Motorsports uh, foot peg and brake peg, as long or as well as a Flow Motorsports uh, powder coated adjustable brake arm. Metzler Cruise Tech tires, front and back, rocking a Baja Designs LP6 headlight behind this Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing uh, with 11 inch dark smoke vented windshield is a Cali raised moto bracket and wiring harness for this LP6. Got the Moons MC V2 sequential turn signals in the stock bullet uh, actual housing. Flow Motorsports adjustable levers for the brake and clutch side. Vans grips. Got some Ram mounts, hold on on GoPro stuff, and a quad lock for my phone. Love the quad lock. My DinoJet Power Vision is resting in a My Machinist mount which uh, this is not how they designed it. They designed it just to be used with uh, you know one of these extensions, but my bar setup, which we'll explain in a second, is a little bit unique. So I'm using three of these extensions, um, but again, all from my machinist. Thrash and supply handlebar bag is attached to my Krause isolated pullback risers. Uh, these are the eight inch pullback risers and they are sitting, let me see if I can get you guys a good kind of picture of this. They are sitting on a Kraus T-Rex uh, pullback plate. Clutch and brake lines, I don't remember the length, but they are both from Magnum Shielding. Uh, internal electrical component extensions are all uh, just stock Harley or stock my garage, me soldering them and connecting them. Uh, stock tank, but a 
uh, powder or not powder coated, but a pinstriped overlay matching blue um, of the Harley logo. ARP bolts up here for the center console stock gauges, um, stock bezels, but I actually spray painted these. They came out really good. Um, I followed, uh, Switching Gears did it on his, and he gave me hope that I could do it well on mine, and I did. So we're both, we both got those, which is cool. Um, I got the Harley uh, flat or flush mount uh, gas tank. Why can't I think of the word? Uh, or gas cap uh, paired with the, um, the dummy cap on the left side. So these are pretty cool if you've never seen them before. Um, again, inspiration taken from uh, switching gears. <laughs> stock mirrors, um, stock everything else up here. Oh, lid locks. Lid locks helmet lock, um, which I love. And I already mentioned about the Thrash and Supply bag. Uh, all right, let's go to the other side. We'll talk about everything else we got going on. Uh, seat right now is a Saddleman Explorer seat carbon fiber finish with blue lattice stitch you get hopefully you guys can see in the sun and it doesn't block it out but uh, matches the blue almost perfectly um, it looks a little bit dark but that's also because it's on a black carbon fiber you know finish or whatever um, vinyl cut out for the rd the ryan dad logo inside there you got the trask uh, crankcase vent the checkmate check m8 got the trask assault air cleaner with the KNN air filter uh, in there, powder coated on the internal and the internal, um, what do you call that? What do you call that? Why can't I think of it? Why can't I think of that? The thing, the uh, whatever. I can't think of the name. If I think of it during editing, I'll post it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The internal of that is uh, powder coated blue. I got the external breather kit set up with this and the spacers are powder coated blue. In there, right, right there, you could probably see it, is the SNS. 55 millimeter intake manifold stock throttle body right now got the trask uh assault clear um oil cover or oil pump cover crankcase cover crank um cam chest cover that's the <laughs> i couldn't think of the name i was calling it everything else uh quickie push rods from sns because i have an sns oil pump and a jim's v-twin max cell 821 cam in there paired up with a fuel moto jackpot riot two and a one exhaust with the straight end cap, not the curved end cap, Flow Motorsports uh, shift, all right, I think we already went over that, shift peg and uh, foot peg just in case, or not shift, brake peg and foot peg just in case we didn't with the Flow Motorsports arm and the Green Brothers adjustable brake linkage. Uh, we did talk about the Bung King high crash bar. Uh, I talked about the internals over there. Moving on down, stock transmission. Uh, Oil-wise, I'm running a K&N filter. Um, Redline oil in the transmission. Lucas oil in the crankcase. And then ATF Type F in the primary, but we'll get into that when we go to that side because there's a little surprise uh, over there as well. Fender struts, powder coated. Got the removable V, I think we're up to V3, whatever the newest rendition of the Leather Pros are in the ballistic nylon. I friggin' love these things, um, but they're quick detach. Uh, they're set up on there right, right away. Stock brake rotor, but uh, Lindall Extreme brake pad with the stock brake caliper in the back, as well as the Metro Cruise Tech and the stock wheel powder coated in blue. This is a vinyl wrap for the stock uh, tail light bezel. No turn signals because I'm rocking the Eagle Lights integrated turn signal and uh, brake light for the rear light. This is a, actually it's marketed for a Sport Glide, but it obviously fits a Loretta S as well with the Holdfast hardware. So that's a removable uh, luggage rack um, that I DIY mounted a Pelican air case to. This is the Pelican 1525 uh, air case with a blue vinyl that I went ahead and cut out myself and put up there for the ride and dead with a little business card I had made up and a QR code because this case comes with this like little business card mount um, but it has a QR code for my link tree with all of my you know my uh, YouTube my TikTok Instagram all that jazz uh, so yeah all of that we got all of that going on the leather pros again um, go ahead and mention the RWD RS1 monoshock upgrade I did for the suspension on the rear thing freaking rocks um, lifts the bike up suspension is amazing with it I love this thing um, Speed Kings chain kit. I can't remember the gearing offhand. I did gear taller, so I'll have to put it in the um, the subtitles right now or the description or something. But um, uh, right now I'm rocking an EK. I think it is chain. Uh, I think it's the EK DID or I can't remember what what exactly. But um, 
it's you know it's it's a good chain um this is the second chain i'm rocking on this setup not because i had an issue with the first one but just because i wanted to you know do do an upgrade for myself the sprocket on the front and rear have held up amazing from speed kings um the whole thing is is great bunk king passenger uh peg slash crash bar sliders on the rear these are not the stock um, delrin sliders they come with they come with like a shorter ribbed one or whatever but i went ahead and bought these larger ones they're actually designed for a dyna um, shock slider have the stock kickstand but a my machinist extension block on there don't mind the extra holes i had an old one in the past uh, for the primary i have a trask assault clear derby cover which showcases my evolution industries clutch pack uh, which again we talked about the atf type f fluid evolution industries clutch pack for the clutch hayden and m6 chain tensioner for the chain tensioner and a dark horse man of war compensator uh, for the compensator flow motorsports shifter and uh, foot peg as well as the shift arm green brothers designs adjustable shift linkage i got a no co battery lead that we've talked about before for the external breather system i've run a bunch so don't say oh you can do this that you shouldn't do that or whatever this is the current setup i have this is what i like <laughs> so this is the external breather system into this catch can that i have mounted on my bunk king crash bar um spark plugs pretty much stock but uh they just replace them just for normal maintenance stuff um, with the NJ ngk iridium ones um, everything seems to be, you know, running normal. You're not going to feel a horsepower increase from your, from your, uh, your spark plugs. Anyone that tells you otherwise is just stupid. So yeah, there you go. There's the bike. I think we talked about pretty much everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start it up so you can see the lights and hear that Jim's V-Twin 821. Let's check out the lights first. That's what I mean when I say sequential, the inner and then outer and it gets up. Hopefully it comes across on video. Beautiful Baja Designs LP6. Let's give it a few revs. Here's the Dino Jet Power Vision. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. Uh, we just talked about pretty much everything I can think of that's on this beautiful bike the, that I have devoted the past two years of my, primarily my finances to it, everything. Um, I could not be happier with how this thing is set up. For those of you curious, uh, there is gonna be a helmet review coming out, um, but I'm just trying to ride with it a little bit more. Gosh darn, it's bright out there. Um, but this is my current go-to helmet right now. It's a Shoei X14. Um, thing, thing is awesome for any weather we've had in Florida so far. But either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it a ton check it out uh, there's a playlist devoted to all the reviews i ever do and a playlist devoted to the entire build series on this bike so if you're curious about anything you saw me talk about or anything you want to know more about or, or see the install video check that uh that playlist out check that video out so they're always linked in any description that i have here um, i also have affiliate codes and coupon codes and everything like that specifically to tucker speed 10 percent off any of your purchases pretty much from them that affiliate link and coupon code is always in the description uh, for my videos as well so thank you guys very much for watching. Again, check out any of the, the build series playlists or the review playlist, whatever, to learn a little bit more about this, this bike. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad, out. <laughs>